Okay, guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the cursed canvas. The curse of the canvas. Now, this canvas has been scraped and scraped and scraped. It's got to be like five times. But I am determined to get a painting out of this canvas. So, a swipe again, same as the last one, but less paint. And I haven't got much left anyway, so. A little bit left not much uh, let's just do that and do that cover it I want to I mean I don't want too much paint it, it does need to have a, a decent covering but not the big thick center that I did last time I'm going to even it out Cover it all. Hopefully, I won't leave too much in the center like I did last time. I took it down there on the floor and took a photo of it and everything, and you know, ceremonial goodbye. But yeah, it just wasn't what I was wanting, so it had to go. You guys can understand that, can't you? Right now, I'm just trying to make it kind of even. Go over, oh, I haven't gone over the bottom there yet. Let's go over the bottom a little bit. Doesn't matter if you can't see this part. It's not very exciting. I'm just trying to get an even coverage. Just so that when I do swipe, the paints flow at an even rate and don't flow like in a big blob like the last one did. Pop. Right, that looks good. That's just a nice even coating. It's not too thin. If it was too thin, my paints would not move when I tilt. And I still want them to move. I don't want them to kind of get stuck. So it definitely needs... Um, to have that little bit of movement <clears throat> excuse me still can't get rid of this frog in my throat now tiny bit of black actually I'm not with the nozzle on the, for the black not that I've got much left in there anyway to give it a, a shake a little bit it was quite strong wasn't it overpowered everything um, I don't really know that the copper brought much to the table but let's just put a little bit on anyway and then some more pink if I've got some more pink come on pink there's a little bit left not much. We're running out of everything. And then the brown. Just do a little ziggy zaggy of the brown. Hopefully there's enough of the black and the brown in there to make it sort of pop a little bit. Three to one again. Oh, I wanted to put some paper towel down last time and I forgot. Let's do that real quick. Just give me somewhere to wipe my little swipe tool on, hey? I'll do another one and put it over on the side for when this one gets too grubby. All right, I'll just move that one over here. 
Okay, <laughs> let's do this again. I've got my three swipe tools. These are just plastic paint scrapers that I get from the hardware store. And I might use this, this little bottle. That's still three to one cell activator. I just make it up in a big bottle. It's got a nice size nozzle on it. Do a little bit and then swipe just because it tends to sink and you don't want it to all sink. Try and get half of it so that I've still got the other half to use on the other side. Um, all right, I didn't get much white there, I mustn't have put enough on. Either that or I pushed down too hard. I think I pushed down too hard. See the white's covering way down there and here it's not. I'm just going to put a little bit more on and see if I can swipe that again. Make sure my tool's clean because I don't want a yellow stripe through the centre. And pull that white gently, gently over the top. That's better. I've got a better coverage of the white there. Right, let's move on and do the next section. I find you do need to have quite a lot of white. If you miss a little bit, it doesn't matter. I'm not good at swiping away from me. I much prefer to swipe towards me. Um, but I'll just use a little bit of that white and uh, come over the area that I missed. I pushed a bit hard there. Took off, took off too much colour. I was watching what I was doing over here and not concentrating what I was doing over there. Now this area doesn't need quite so big a tool. And that's better. I'm going to go again a little bit more gently with the white this time. Hopefully I'll get some cells under that. If you miss, you're better off starting again and getting into your white, rather. It seems that one side of the tool is more concurve and the other is more convex. I'm going to have to use the other side, I think, because it's missing a little bit on that when I use the other side. Now these colours look much nicer, they're brighter, not as dark as that one that I just did before. Definitely not as dark. Do you think I've got more control over the little one here? Now I seem to have lost my white. I seem to put a touch back there. Okay. Probably should have changed this little piece earlier, but that's okay. Now last little bit of white. Okay, well, that did it, hey? I think we did it. Just gonna put a tiny little bit of white there just to go over that 
corner. No, that didn't work. It's because it's raised. You know, the little tool rubbed against it. That's all right. I'll be tilting over that corner, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, let me just wipe the white paint off my tool. Otherwise, it dries and it gets... It's really hard to get off. This paint's not easy to, to clean off. Right, let's move everything out of the way. And hopefully, I won't get that too much movement in the middle. I will get more movement in the middle, obviously, because that's where I had the extra paint. But hopefully it won't go all too much zigzag like it did last time, eh? Hey? Okay. Let's actually... I'm going to go with the side that I don't like as much first. Um, let's just go straight down, hey? Getting a bit of a, a blob there. Still, still more paint there than what I would have liked. See how it's making that puddle there? Really can't do much about that. Just need that paint to flow over. Might take it over that corner while I'm down that way. It's going quite zigzag in the middle there, which is unfortunate. I was hoping it wouldn't do that. Be putting less paint on this time. Okay, let's go back the other way and then I'll head for this corner as well while I'm at it. If I can. I need to get rid of that blob down there as well. So over this corner and hopefully that blob can go. Now I can't see what I'm doing because I've got it vertical Is it going? Oh, look how zigzaggy it's gone in the middle again. <clears throat> oh, look, there's a blob right in front of it. That blob will push it off. Don't know why it's going zigzaggy. Didn't think I had it have so much paint on there this time. I guess that's just how it goes, this, uh, this technique. Back to the, I'm just going to centre it a little bit more now. I wonder what will happen if I do my, um, I'm just thinking out loud. I've been doing my medallion, my balloon medallion smashes. Just wondering what it would look like if I did a couple of those in the middle there where I really don't like those areas. Might give it a go. Why not? Hey, got nothing to lose. I've got a bit of paint mist on the side there, though. Let's just cover you up. I have to go around and fix my sides. The long sides are okay. It's just the short edges that haven't got a lot of paint on them. All right, I'm going to try. Oh, have I got any paint left? Um, a little bit of paint in this one. I'm just going to do some balloon dips. Just a little bit of paint though because you don't need a lot. Because you've already got a lot of paint there. So the last thing you want to do is have more paint, you know. It's the last thing you want. 
or brown. Let's just try one and see what happens. Oh, that looks quite cute too, doesn't it? Should I have little eyeballs all the way along? No, it's too thick. It won't dry properly. It'll probably crack. Um, I've got a couple of water balloons here that I've been using for my medallions. So let's just try that one, hey? And then I can actually put that somewhere else. I don't know if it's going to work. It probably won't. It's probably just going to go all smushy. somewhere else. A lot of paint there still. <clears throat> Actually I probably didn't need to add any because that's a lot of paint there. Let's just try and actually get some of the paint off. Wipe it and reduce the amount of paint that's there. Because this is what I do when I do my balloon smashes and my paint's too wet and I get too much paint flowing back. I just keep going until I've taken some of the paint away. Just keep going until I've got rid of some of the paint. Just in a few areas. Lift it up a little bit slower there, I think, and see if that's better. Because the paint's quite thick on here. So I lift it really, really slowly and just get that little bit of a peak happening. I think that will work. What do you think? It's better than it was before with all that wobbly stuff in the middle. Really slow. Righty, oh, it is the next day. Uh, it's the paint's actually still quite wet through the center there where it's thicker it's dry on the edges um, but I'm gonna have another little go I did do these as you can see last night but um, yeah not happy with them and I think I needed more white so I've actually mixed up a little bit of white which I didn't have uh, I used so it's not my cell activator it's a different white it is zinc white. See how the little square there is empty? That means it's a transparent colour. So I've just made up a little bit of that. And I've got two different balloons. I might do like smaller ones in between. So I'm going to go again. I've got my orange, got my pink, got my brown. Scratch the top off the end there. Even though I wiped it, it's still got scabby bits on top. We need to wipe it a little bit more carefully, I think. So let's open up the nozzles. And um, yeah, I haven't used white before. I mean, the only white I've ever used is the cell activator. So we'll see what happens with the white, hey? Um, now, we don't need a lot of paint for um, balloon dips you're probably better off having a little bit less than a little bit too much because the balloon really spreads it out and let's put a little bit of actually I'll put white on the top a little bit there and I actually don't have any more little nozzle bottles left. I've ordered some, but they're taking forever. They must have got stuck somewhere in China, I guess, not been able to come into the country because it's taking a very long time. Either that or they've forgotten about me. All right, let's so use the bigger one. 
and then I might use the smaller one and sort of go in between why not hey just play so hopefully I'll get the round the medallions because my paints dry that's the plan anyway oh that's interesting let's just go over here put some of that paint down there now I'll wipe it I don't know that I like the white on top let's put a little bit of pink on top there see if that's going to be prettier because that one looks a bit dull but we'll see what happens at the end I do like the white going through there I have to try and push out so that I can kind of cover that old circle that I've had there that one I might have to actually do a bigger balloon for because I'm not getting further out all right, I'll swap this balloon over and just get my next size up. It's a little bit bigger and hopefully that will um, incorporate that edge there. I'll put a little bit more paint on this one. And then let's give it a smash with the balloon. Well, not really a smash, but let's push it down. Okay, let's go back into this one. See if I can make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's better. Almost got it. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Just really having a play to see what I can do with this. Now, I don't like you. You're a bit boring. Yes, you are. With the white on top, let's go again. Uh, a little bit of white underneath. The white's doing weird things. It's quite pretty. I'll take you down in a minute and show you. All right, let's go with a bigger balloon. Straight up. And put you back over there hey I don't like to dip the balloons again because I find there's not enough paint on there to keep going one dip and then one out again and that's generally all I have paint for okay let's do this one and a little bit of white that the white's actually bringing anything to the party at this stage. All right, let's go again. Little face there, hey. Oh, you're pretty. <laughs> yes, you are. <clears throat> so some are prettier than others it just depends on you know the way you layer your your puddle really how it comes out that one's really pretty I have to work out what I did now this one needs some so I'll do the same I think I had the brown first didn't I <clears throat> and then the orange let's do a little bit of white and some little dots didn't I like that okay I might have to rip that one I don't really like that one I think that one had the white near the top oh I'm getting better at this try not to <clears throat> go over wet paint because then you you lose your circle so those two are really pretty. These ones aren't standing out as much as they could. So let's do them again. Do opposite way. Hope my white's thick enough. I might just, oh, wrong color. I'll just put another little blob of white in my paint. It looks as if it's a little bit thin. I 
Oh, that's better. Now I'm getting the hang of it, aren't I? That's better. See, I'm getting circles now, medallions, rather than the ones with the more of a starburst on the edge. I'm just going to pop a little bit of, a little bit more white paint into my white mix. If it's a bit bubbly, I know that it's too thin. And it's just not working as well as I expected it to. Okay, let's try some orange on the bottom here. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe I'll put some black in a couple of them. Because I've only been using the brown so far, but let's try a little bit of black. <clears throat> I won't put the white in where I've put the black because, you know, I'll get grey. Pretty, pretty. Get a little one there. Oh, you're cute. See how it's not a circle? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not a circle. Um, <clears throat> if you're particularly worried about them, don't re-dip. Make new puddles. Um, and then you won't get that. I'll, I'll show you over here. We'll just do a little puddle. Actually, let's put some white in and see how the new white goes. And just a little balloon. See how you've got the circle there now instead of that flower look? So I guess it's best just to wipe it off if you want them all to be medallions like that. Wipe it off. Um, go again, rather. Let's put some white on the bottom. Oh, I haven't put my air conditioner on. I came in just to do a quick little five-minute video and I just realised I haven't got the air con on and it's really quite hot in here. That one's too orange. Let's pop a little bit of black and a touch of pink and it should be enough paint there just to go again. Hmm, don't like that. Too much black there now. It was supposed to be just a quick little video. I think I'm gonna have to go and put it on. I'm getting hot, 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 hot. All right, I'll just do this one and then I'll go and just turn it on. Okay, that's better. Where will I put you? Just there. All right, I'm just gonna turn it on, hang on. One sec, it's right here on the shelf behind me. It's going to take a little while to cool the room down. But um, Now, which ones shall I go over? Mm, you probably need going over again. You just need to be a little bit darker. Although, it is really quite interesting, that one. I'd have to take it down and show you. Now, I've got enough dark colours. So I might just do a couple. See, I don't like how this is like this. I'm going to do a tiny little one here. If I can, do a tiny one. Bring a little bit of white out. Whoops, that's a lot. And a little bit of pink. And let's just, this is the smallest balloon I've got, but we just won't push very hard, hey? Let's make a little tiny one like that. He's quite pretty. And I don't like this area here. 
so let's go over that as well it's quite a lot of orange in that corner there that little area so we'll again put the pink on top to make it a little bit more pinky in that corner decisions I've got a tiny little bit of brown on okay <laughs> slipped oh that's okay see the white I was hoping I'd get a little bit more white now that's that's pretty I'll leave that um, that I'd like to cover up with just another little one just there some white down first this area needs a little bit more pink in it tiny bit of brown just for contrast it's giving me a little bit more white there so that's good Do with a little bit more white just there all right um now this area here is a lot of pink i'm just going to see if i can add a bit more white to that section just to balance it a bit and orange on top Yeah, that's better. A little bit of white there I needed, hey. It's hard not to get carried away. I think I need a bit more white down here too. No, that didn't work. That gave me the same orange and brown. Let's just put a tiny bit on. Some white. And let's just go white and pink, hey. Just to lighten that corner up a little bit. That's it. Just a little pop of white there. Pop of white there. Um, and I think I am done. Actually, no, just here needs one more. Put a little bit of brown in that one. A little bit of white. I really enjoy these little balloon dips or medallions. They're quite fun. But I only like them when I get the nice round medallion. I don't necessarily want them to be um you know starbursty look okay that's it i'm done wipe off my balloons i'll give them a, a wash in a minute my little balloons so let me take it down show you the finished product Happy with that. I mean, ideally, you know, I maybe not didn't want balloon medallions in the middle of my painting, but hey, I didn't like the middle, so I think it's it's helped it. You know, it's fixed it. There's no harm. I think there's no harm in putting a couple of different techniques together. That's what it looks like from my side. Oh, that light. Oh, my gosh. All right, let me turn it off. Mm, no, it's not really that light that's doing it. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's... I'll hold it here. No, I'm going to... Shadows. Shadows everywhere. All right, let's have a look. 
Got some really pretty lacing from my swipe. And I've got, see that, that one in the middle there that's got a lot of pink on it. This one down here has got a lot of brown on it. This one here has got more orange on it. The big ones. Back to more chocolate brown with a little bit of white in it. This was the one I was telling you about. It's quite, quite intricate. That's why I wasn't going to go over it again. Look at the white, what it's doing. It's making this really pretty little pattern. And we've got that pop of pink there. I will have another go at swiping in a on a big canvas uh, and I'll use a little bit less of the pillow paint um, and then I'm not going to tilt like side to side I'm just going to go straight up and straight down so that I don't get the wobbles too much I think that will help all right I uh, hope you like that hope it was worth your while in waiting <laughs> not that you had to wait hey it was I was the one that had to wait overnight but um, yeah, I'm happy with it. Glad I did it. Right. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.